Hey everyone, it's Kenlin, and this is your full moon activation for the full moon in Capricorn at 29 degrees. I'm calling this foreshadowing, actually foreshadowing of what is going to break down, what's breaking down in order to break through, where are we going? So this is a really important transmission. We're talking about the full moon in Capricorn. The sun is still in cancer and the sun is at 29 degrees. So the full moon's at 29 degrees, the sun's at 29 degrees, they're opposing each other. And a full moon normally is really intense. Remember we used to chart our cycles and like a full moon was an intense time. And that's because the sun, the conscious awareness, our sun is lighting up our unconscious and the moon is the public. So oftentimes emergency rooms are full on full moons. It's like crazy town and it is crazy town right now. So I want to validate that if you're going, what in the hell is happening? It is the undoing, the dismantling of so much. And, you know, we think about since 2020, we've been talking about letting go, releasing, dismantling the wrecking ball. And we get to realize that it, that it happens in cycles. And maybe we can say thank you to the powers that be, the cosmos, that we get these in cycles and we get to grow in between the cycles because it's really intense. Imagine if the wrecking ball just happened and just destroyed everything, almost like that nuclear bomb and Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I just watched Oppenheimer a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, that could have decimated everything, just vaporized us. That, that could have been one way of going about it. But really, these are lessons. This is not meant to take us out. This is part of our evolutionary future. Now, I want you to remember that because we're going to say some pretty inflammatory things or we're going to point to some inflammatory things. And speaking of inflammation, this is the time to watch that. It's explosive. And we're going to talk about Gemini and Gemini being a planet of communication and words. And, and isn't that just going off the chart? So we add Mars into the picture. Mars just went into Gemini today. And we can have just a total fight through social media, through email, through texting. So this is where we're headed. <laughs> and and my, my purpose and my intention in sharing about this full moon, as well as the geometry and the cosmos of all the things that are happening, which is quite a lot, is to support us in being leaders and being really at the top of our game and knowing where to put our energy, because there's a lot of ways that it's just a total energy leak. All right. So I'm going to do these videos in pieces. Normally I do a longer video about 30 minutes. I'm going to do these in pieces. So if you're enrolled in this, you can pop over to the second video. Let's see how that works. Give me some feedback. All right. Let's cover in this video, the full moon and Capricorn. So 29 degree full moon Capricorn. That means that it's opposite the sun in cancer at 29 degrees. So that 29 degree point by now, if you're following me or other astrologers, you know, that is the completion point. That is the point of release. And by now you have seen that which is no longer serving you in your life. And, and I know that I've heard from people and they can be really hard things like relationships that you maybe never thought you would let go of or friendships that it's totally surprising that it's going in this direction or work. It, it's, it's like it's faded at this point. So there's a degree of, oh yeah, like surrender allowance and letting go in this and feeling the feels, grieving the grieving. And maybe by this time you're exhausted and so it's, you know, it's like, okay, I, you know, I, uncle, I surrender. And I'm going to share a little bit about that. Cause I got to go see Ama, the hugging saint last week, and it was extraordinary. And a couple of things came together for me that I think are going to come out in this transmission that I hope will support you. 
because really we got to get ninja going forward. This is this is foreshadowing what is to come at the end of this year. Well, really September, really August is going to be really intense. September, October, November, we have Pluto going retrograde back into Capricorn. Capricorn having one of the nomenclatures as the tyrant, Pluto and Capricorn, the tyrant. I think that's really apropos for what's happening right now. And then we have uh, Pluto uh, stationing direct and moving and inching into Aquarius in late November, right around Sag season. And then we have Mars going retrograde. And then by January, February, March, like really by March, we're going to be in a, in a clearing with no retrograde planets. And you know what? I, I have chill saying this. We will be in an entirely new world. So let's just posit that we matter. And how do we matter? Our consciousness matters. Our words matter. What we believe and give our energy to matters. So that's the context in which I'm going to give this transmission so please have a listening for that, for how you can play a role in this most auspicious time of the change of an age. And we'll talk about that as well. <laughs> so much to cover because really, I'm, I'm recording this on the 20th of July, and I'm just looking at the calendar, and, and there are at least eight huge major transits so it's big. It's so big. And you know it because you're already feeling it. Okay. <laughs> so we're at a completion point, 29 degrees. You've heard that 29 degrees before because every planet celestial body goes from one degree, zero degrees to 29 degrees, 29, 59, you know, it goes till 30 degrees. If we use whole house astrology, each house is 30 degrees. I think that's just a really coherent way of thinking about it. So we're at the end of our degree points in Capricorn and in Cancer, and we're ready to change signs. And Neptune, that Neptune is super slow. It's still at 29 degrees of Pisces. So it's hanging out there. And, and think of Neptune as the higher octave of love, of, of, of spirituality, of connection with the divine and its lower octave is confusion and escapism. So if we think about it that way, we already know that one of the ways through this is going to be our spiritual practice, our connection with the divine, remembering who and what we are as messengers of the light. We're here to do that, bring that message during this time. So it's not like it's just an ordinary full moon either. The full moon is conjunct because remember at 29 degrees, a conjunction is a close contact. So it's in Capricorn. Who else is moving into Capricorn? But Pluto. It's conjunct Pluto. Ah, Pluto and Aquarius at one degrees. So we have this sense of the future. That is the future. That is the, that is the, the wrecking ball is wrecking the past and our current situation to bring in a future. And we live in duality. So the future is going to encompass this and that dark and light. And we have a say, and I'm going to talk about how I understood Ama and the, um, avatars and saints and their role in holding the dark and the light. That's what I received as a transmission while I was there. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> it's probably got to be on another video. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this is a letting go moment. So check in with your life right now. What are the things that you are letting go of? What are the things that are just being let go of? I find it interesting because for me, it's I'm changing platforms and you, and that's not a very huge, like emotional thing, but it's certainly irritating because lots of things are happening. But, but really what it signifies in my life is 
the way that it was built, the way that my platform was built is, is now like a wrecking ball. I put, I took a wrecking ball to it and I'm creating a new one that hasn't even yet like exist. It doesn't exist yet. It's being created. So that's a perfect metaphor for what's happening right now. So we're a new, so basically it's like a new chapter is coming. It's just not here yet. And that's the frustrating part, especially for the fixed signs of Leo and Taurus, Aquarius and Scorpio. If you have any of those in your sun, moon and rising signs, you know, you like things to be more certain than they are right now. So just know that that's how you like it and it's not happening. So you have, so what do you get to do? increase your faith. So what we're really doing, I'm just looking at my notes to, <laughs> there's so much. What we're really doing is we are, we are making choices for what has to go and what can't go with us. Um, and those choices are taking us down a faded path. And so we can have a lot of thoughts about that we can second guess ourselves. We can create anxiety and turmoil inside of ourselves. And at this point, you maybe have done that for a year now, because we've had lots of these kinds of transits. You may be at this point where you're surrendering to it. You actually are just trusting. And that would be the place to put your energy into trust. It's like it, we have a lot of Mars action. So we are going to be in action. And maybe today you're already feeling the desire to be in action. And that's really in alignment with the signature energy for today and the next few days, in fact, the next couple of weeks. And so take advantage of that because what's coming is a Merc Mercury retrograde followed by later, um, well, Pluto's in retrograde and going back into Capricorn and then followed by that Mars retrograde. So let's take advantage of the energy and also surrender the outcome of things. So let me think if there's anything else. Yeah. So the ending points, you already, chances are by this point, you already know what it is that's ending. And like my technology, it could represent a world, even though on the surface, you'll be like, well, it's just technology. Yes. And it represents a world to my business and a world to me. And it's shifting. And I don't know what it is, right? So you get to ask yourself the question of what lights you up? Where are you feeling the energy right now? So this Capricorn completion point, let's just bring this in before I end this one piece and we'll go to the next piece in the next video. But the Capricorn is a completion point of what got started at, the, at one degree of Capricorn. Do you remember when that happened? A month ago, we had one degree of Capricorn, full moon, and we knew we were going to go on a journey for 30 days. We we're going to have a new moon and then this other full moon here, and that that journey was going to show us what, where we're out in our leadership, where we're out in our integrity, where our work is not aligned with us anymore. Um, where our responsibilities have overtaken our self-care. Because remember, we have Capricorn and Cancer on this axis. So you'll be working this internal self and also how you are perceived, your reputation. So you get to check in for this full moon and, and as all full moons, really ask yourself, and memorialize that which you are letting go of, that which is a true completion in the 29 degree way that is, that is preparing you for a liminal void until you go into the zero and one degree and just begin to start something new. Now we're supported, okay? I wanna say that we are supported and, and we're supported by so many things, but we're also supported by the geometry which has Venus sextiling Jupiter and Gemini. 
at 12 degrees. So whenever we have Venus and Gemini and uh, Jupiter together, they are happy. They are bringing the joy. They are bringing the abundance. So there is that message. And, and we all, I believe, know this now. And just to reiterate it, that in order for that new abundant future to come through, we must let go of the old. And if you're letting go of a relationship or maybe moving, letting go of friendships, it can be, it can be emotional and, and cancer. We still have a cancer sun at 29 degrees, so it can still be emotional, but it, chances are you've made some peace with that. Okay. So that's the, I think I want to stop there. And then I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into a couple of other very intense, very intense signatures that are going to, that are amplified by this full moon. And that's Mercury in Leo squaring Uranus and Taurus. And that is the sun entering Leo opposing Pluto. And then we have Mars and Uranus conjunction. While we're not at the top of that conjunction, where we are now is still in the influence of that conjunction. And I have a story about that and shattering. And then I'm going to also weave in what's happening um, in the greater cosmos with ascended masters and ascended beings and our consciousness. We also had today... Um, Mars moved into Gemini. So the action right now is moving into Gemini and it's moving into Leo. So if you have those planets uh, or where they you have those planets, that's where the action is going to be. Okay. I'm also going to presence the Mercury retrograde that's coming up. Stay tuned for video number two.